Good morning and welcome to the Take Your Life Back Today show. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today show. Well, today is Monday. God has blessed me with another 86,400 seconds to live today. And for that, I praise God for allowing me to do that. And I always thank God for everything I do have and never dwell on the things I don't have. And what do I have? Well, <clears throat> I had a great week last week. We had a grand opening on Friday. Uh, we had a very successful grand opening. It was a great Saturday. It was a great weekend. And for that, I praise God. And I want to talk about uncomfortable feelings that indicate you are taking the correct path in life. Because sometimes the correct path feels like it's the wrong path. But it is the correct one because... Uh, in the Marine Corps, we learn no pain, no gain, and that applies to also taking steps in life that sometimes aren't the most comfortable steps, but they are the right steps. Change, it happens to all of us one point or another in our lives. However, it is an important part of human life and cannot sh and should not ever be avoided. What is change, you might ask? Change is having the ability to move from one situation to another. For some people, for an example, change is usually brought about the desire to want to change. But for some others, it's, a des it's, it's not a desire to want to change, but it's almost a forceful change that needs to be done to have a better life, to have a better life quality. So let's talk about the 10 things. Number one is isolation, my friends. Making a profound and personal change is a lonely task by nature itself. This type of change needs to be done alone, which makes isolation. It is normal to feel separated from friends and family during this time, but it is a necessary step to go in the right direction. Sometimes number two is difficulty focusing. Change is a very stressful process for the brain, and, uh, and the brain uh, sometimes is overworked and does not function w very well. That left side of the brain, which handles the majority of the tasks one must accomplish day by day, will quickly get burnt out during the time of change. So for forgetfulness and the lack of focus is a normal process when you have change. Sometimes, number three, anxiety and restlessness. Any change, uh, be it the job, relationships, spiritually based, uh, will stimulate the emotions daily. Also, imagining new possibilities will trigger anxiety and make you nervous. So that is a normal process. Number four is irritability. It is very common to feel irritated by the people one loves and cares about when they are in the process of positive changes. Our habits are based off the people we spend time with. Changing oneself means changing behavior patterns in your life, and uh, it's, it's, it's a daily process. Number five is fear, fear, and sadness. The bigger one um, in change is the uh, fear of change. And uh, uh, the fear sometimes could make you not want to change. But please do not run away from the fear of change. Fear just means the change is more meaningful and it is more effective. Also, feeling sad about change means one's feeling is loss of their old life. This is normal part of grieving and needs to be viewed as such because change is approaching the unknown in life. Number six is confrontation. If one is willing to change, that means that uh, the other one <clears throat> uh, in some way is a welcoming feeling. Uh, sometimes um, it, it may be more likely to call people out because of their behaviors and um, sometimes you need to do that and, and, you know, confront a person because changes in life means that you need to sometimes stand up for your rights. This is very healthy and it's very normal. Number seven is dissatisfaction. Feelings of dissatisfaction are present, not because of the change, but because the change is working, my friends. Yay. One will no longer accept what is previously acceptable and they are more likely to demand better for others in the world. Number eight is feeling lost. Feeling lost does not mean one is on the wrong path. It just means the person is dealing with a whole bunch of new expectations, emotions, and experiences. They are creating a new reality in their own life. It's almost like having your own reality show. It is a natural 
feeling to feel lost, but somehow you will find your way to a normal behavior pattern. Number nine is questioning friendships. Changing oneself means changing one's entire life. That includes relationships with friends. It is very common for a person to examine compatibility with their friend, even their relationship. And if you feel that it, there is no common denominator, it's time to make a move. Current changes may mean some old friendships can no longer be sustained. Some old relationships can no longer be sustained. This is normal. This is healthy. It includes romantic relationships. And number 10, last but not least, is change and intense dreams. Even while one is asleep, the brain is still working in a process all experiences in their new life. There, uh, this can cause strange, intense, or even negative dreams to happen daily. It is important to remember that these dreams are the brain's way of working out all the heavy stuff that's going on in your life. As one can easily see, personal change is significant uh, and life experiences can cause uncomfortable emotions and these are the things you need to work out. It is important to look past these feelings to see one's true self. Change is good. Change is necessary to fulfill one's life's purpose. The title of this episode was 10 Uncomfortable Feelings to Indicate You Are Taking the Correct Path. Number one was isolation, my friends. Sometimes you need to just get that downtime, that alone time. Number two is difficulty focusing. Change is a very stressful process for the brain, so try to focus as much as possible. Number three is anxiety and restlessness. Any change, be it a job, relationship, or spiritual based with stimuli and emotions is very stressful. Irritability is number four. Number five is fear and sadness. Sometimes facing the unknown can be very scary and it can be sometimes sad. Number six is confronting other people. Number seven is dissatisfaction. Feelings of dissatisfaction are present not because of the change but because the change is working. Number eight, feeling lost. Feeling lost does not mean you are in the wrong path. It just merely means that you are on a path alone to find out what the future holds for you. Number eight, uh, number nine is questioning friendships, friendships, whether it's friends and relationships. If there's no compatibility, time to move on. And number 10, strange and intense dreams. Remember, even when you're asleep, your brain is working. Your brain is working and it is working out all the heavy stuff in life. So start today. Next episode coming up will be 10 dif uh, difficult feelings that mean you are evolving in life. And remember, God has blessed you with 10,000, excuse me, 86,400 seconds today to live. Thank him for everything you have, relationships, health, money, uh, a job, folks. Thank God for everything you do have and stop complaining about the things you don't have. The dwelling on things you don't have is not productive. Folks, if you have a little, you have something. But if you want everything selfishly, you will end up with nothing. Praise God today, 86,400 seconds. He has allowed you to live today. What will you do with some of those seconds? Well, I know what I'll do. I'll continuously praise God for allowing me that new lease on life today, uh, December 4th. 2017, I am here to tell you that God loves you. All you have to do is accept that. And may God bless each and every one of you. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, we can help each other take our lives back and take care.